Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into something huge that just dropped from AWS. A game changer for anyone working with AI, especially with large language models and generative AI. We're talking about Amazon S3 vectors. Now, you might be thinking, S3? I know S3. It's for storing objects, right? And you'd be absolutely correct. But AWS has just taken S3 to a whole new dimension, literally. They've introduced native support for storing and querying vector embeddings directly within S3. This isn't just a new feature. It's a new type of S3 bucket, specifically designed for your AI workloads. So, what exactly is Amazon S3 Vectors? In simple terms, it's the first cloud object store to offer native capabilities for storing and querying vectors. Think of it as S3 but purpose-built for the unique demands of AI, specifically for tasks like AI agents, AI inference, and semantic search. It's designed to be incredibly cost-optimized and durable for those massive vector datasets that are becoming the backbone of so many AI applications. And here's the kicker, AWS is claiming it can reduce the total cost of uploading, storing, and querying vectors by up to 90%. Yes, you heard that right, 90%. Plus, it promises subsequent query performance at scale. This is huge. But before we dive deeper into S3 vectors, let's quickly recap why vectors are so crucial in today's AI landscape. Vector embeddings are essentially numerical representations of all sorts of data, text, images, audio, video, that capture their semantic meaning and relationships. These embeddings are the language AI models understand. They're fundamental for everything from retrieval augmented generation or RAG to semantic search, recommendation systems, and even giving AI agents long-term memory. The challenge, of course, has always been storing and querying these potentially billions of vectors both affordably and efficiently. So, how does S3 vectors actually work? AWS has introduced a new type of S3 bucket called a vector bucket. Inside these vector buckets, you create vector indexes. Think of these indexes as the organized structure that allows for super-fast similarity searches. Each vector bucket can hold up to 10,000 vector indexes, and each index can store tens of millions of vectors. What's really cool is that S3 Vectors comes with dedicated APIs like Put Vectors, Query Vectors, and List Vectors, making it incredibly simple to interact with your vector data. You define the distance metric, either cosine or Euclidean, and the dimensions of your vectors, which should match your embedding model. And the best part? S3 automatically optimizes the underlying vector data for the best price performance, even as your dataset scale. This means you don't need to worry about provisioning or managing complex vector database infrastructure. Let's break down the key features and benefits that make S3 vectors so exciting, cost reduction. As I mentioned, the potential for up to 90% cost savings is a massive draw. This is especially true for workloads where queries are less frequent as you're primarily paying for storage, not constantly running compute instances serverless and fully managed. This is a huge win for developers. No more provisioning EC2 instances, managing databases, or worrying about scaling. S3 Vectors handles all of that for you. Massive scalability. You can store billions of vectors and petabytes of data, making it ideal for even the largest AI applications. Subsequent query performance, even with such scale, you get quick responses, crucial for many AI use cases. Durability and availability. It leverages the same battle-tested S3 infrastructure, giving you peace of mind about your data. Metadata filtering. You can attach key-value metadata to your vectors, enabling more precise and powerful searches. S3 Vectors isn't just a standalone service. It's designed to integrate seamlessly into your existing AWS AI ecosystem. Amazon Bedrock Knowledge Bases, this is a huge one for RAG applications. You can now use S3 vectors as the underlying cost-effective vector store 
for your bedrock knowledge bases, simplifying your RAG pipelines significantly. Amazon SageMaker Unified Studio If you're building AI applications in SageMaker, you'll find S3 vectors readily available for your vector storage needs. Amazon OpenSearch Service This integration allows for a powerful tiered storage strategy. You can keep your less frequently accessed or archival vector data in S3 vectors for cost efficiency, and then export high-priority vectors to OpenSearch for real-time ultra-latency queries when needed. And of course, you can interact with it directly via AWS SDKs and the CLI. This opens up a tone of exciting use cases. RAG for more accurate and up-to-date LLM responses. Semantic search across massive datasets of documents, images, videos, and audio. Imagine searching for a specific concept within an entire video library, not just keywords. Giving your AI agents long-term memory, allowing them to remember past interactions and information. Building highly scalable content indexing and discovery platforms. Getting started with Amazon S3 vectors is surprisingly straightforward, even though it's currently in preview. We will see this S3 vector in action in next videos with creating simple demos using it. This means it's perfect for experimentation, learning, and building out your proof of concepts, but it's not yet recommended for critical production workloads. Always check the official AWS documentation for the latest status and regional availability. So, what are my final thoughts on Amazon S3 vectors? This is a huge step forward for democratizing AI development. By offering a cost-effective, massively scalable, and fully managed solution for vector storage, AWS is making it easier for developers and organizations of all sizes to build powerful AI applications. What do you think about Amazon S3 Vectors? Are you excited to try it out? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into the latest tech, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos.